Hi, I am Nancy Clements, and I need a new desk. Oh, hold up, wait, look, I know it's been a minute since we've done the intro, but uh, that's not how it goes. And I used to make stuff like this. So as I said, I need a new desk, and the desk that I'm currently moving out of the way was basically a secondary workstation that I had set up, and I pretty much just decided to make that my main workstation. But uh, for that to work, I need a much larger desk. Now I'm a bit confused with the height of the desk. It looked a lot taller than it did on the wall, even though it was the same measurement, just kind of an optical illusion. But to make this desk, it's just going to be an eight foot desk and I'm going to build it right into the wall, which is a great, easy, fast way to do it. Just chuck a two by four up on the wall and that's your back support for your desk. It makes a super sturdy desk. I'm just finding some studs just to properly secure it to said wall. and getting a few more measurements just to double check the length that I ended up with. It's pretty much just a two foot by eight foot board and grabbing another two by four to cut the side planks and the front supports. And the joys of working in a tiny space. Oh, almost caught it. And maybe not scratch the new face shield. I'm uh, I'm not sure on that face shield yet. I like it, but it it fogs up pretty bad, so I'm not sure what I can do about that. We'll see. And just screwing in the side supports. Getting everything level. Nice. Very well framed up shot there. I need uh, transparent arms. This was a lot of back and forth, out to the shed, back inside, back out of the shed. I thought about bringing in the circular saw, but uh, you know, good exercise, I guess. Basically, I'm doing basically a two legs, so it's the end is supported directly underneath with a two by four, and then I'm chucking another two by four on the side. So, I mean, honestly, that second two by four isn't even really necessary, but you know, more supports not gonna hurt. And now I'm deciding how I'm actually gonna do it because originally I was just gonna do it on the front, but then I realized that'd be a really thick front of the desk, so I decided to rotate the board, and then I was hemming and hawing over how far back I wanted to set the legs, and I just decided on a few inches, so the majority of the desk is supported. And then, so in this case, yeah, that second board is very necessary because it allows me to rest that front cross support on it, so it just 
Everything's supported, super easy and fast. And of course, just shimming up my uh, precision woodworking with a couple of cardboard cards. But yeah, it works perfectly. I mean, nice and flush and... I mean, it's still, it's wood, right? It's all trees, it's all paper. patented technique of just leaving the drill drilled in. It's all fun and games until you break a drill bit. And uh, and just like that, we have a freaking eight foot desk. Um, it's basically done at this point. I'm just checking if I, I'd love to not have to put a center support in, but you know, that's a pretty long stretch. And I might be able to get away with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw in a center support. Super sturdy now. The Matthias Wandel sit test. I went with a chunk of chipboard for the desktop, which isn't great, but it's super cheap. I mean, I would prefer like a nice piece of plywood or even some particle board, which would have had a nice, nicer surface finish. But uh, it's easy enough just to cover with some uh, contact paper. So just chucking down some pretty cheesy looking wood grain contact paper, but uh, you know, it gets the job done and it, prevent you from getting any slivers or anything so you know that'll do for now and I can always swap out the top or paint it or do whatever else at some other point and finally just finishing it off with uh, some plastic trim on the front just to cover up that exposed edge The, uh, the desk is done, and uh, I'm definitely really happy with it. It came together super fast. It only took probably a couple hours. The thing that took forever was getting everything moved onto it and set up the way I wanted it and trying to do cable management as best I could. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with the layout. I think I'm going to like it a lot. Um, it's a good mix of you know decoration and utility you know, everything is within arm's reach and I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can get to really easily. I, uh, I have my pull-out scanner, which I absolutely love. And I got all my keyboards and everything. So just possibilities are endless. I'm really happy with it. And there's, there's even plenty of room to work on other stuff up here, which I plan to do my drawings. I got all of my markers right here. So that'll be really nice. I don't have to be like cooped up in my studio, just kind of away from everybody where I have been doing that and a lot of my other stuff for a while because I really didn't have any place down here that, that worked well enough or where I could keep all this stuff. So that's pretty cool. And the desk that you saw me move out of the way at the beginning, I ended up putting over there and that's gonna be my Lego desk. So putting this desk here worked out really well. It just fit really well, and it's just a nice little nook to work on Lego, which I've really gotten into this year. I'm working on a project, and I'm basically building a small Lego model every day this year. And so this will be a really nice place to work on that project, again, in the main area of the house, so I'm not cooped up upstairs in the studio. So this is gonna be really nice. I also moved our photo area from over there to here, 
and I think it's gonna work really well here. It's at a good height, it's out of the way, but it's also really easy to get to. So that's really nice. I just need to get some better lighting in here. And I do have a project for backdrops that I thought of probably 10 years ago that I've been wanting to do for this. So that's definitely still on my list, but super happy about this entire area. Everything is just really working out. So if you're in need of a big dumb desk, I hope this gave you some ideas on how you could go about building one. Again, it's really great when you can just build it into the wall, have that back wall as your back support, just chuck a board up there, and then you just need some front legs, a big long plank, and that's pretty much all there is to it. But my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for desk. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. So. Keeping it. I better be in focus. Focus.